it's an incredibly exciting development because we're really looking out further in the solar system than we've really looked in detail ever before. And, um, you know, as a particle physicist, it's not the kind of thing I've thought about a lot in the past, but recently um, I've become much more interested in the solar system and the enormous amount we're learning about the solar system. And it's incredible. I mean, there's this stuff, it's, you know, we, we look at distant galaxies, we look far away, but there's this stuff right here that we have so much, there's so much information waiting to be understood. This is, this is far, right? We haven't had space probes really studying things in detail at this distance. Um, I think it could be the start of something new. I think one of the reasons, I mean, one of the things that's happened in recent years is we've just started looking more closely at asteroids and comets, like nearby, ob relatively nearby objects that we just have extremely little information about. Um, you know, learning about the shapes and sizes, the composition, um, and all of this, you know, feeds back into understanding you know, the solar system's history. And, you know, just if you look at the history of Pluto, it's just, it's kind of funny, right? You know, it was discovered in 1930. Everyone knew it was a bit of an oddity. It was considered a planet. Then um, Eris was discovered. People thought it was bigger. It actually is more massive. But now we're finding out maybe it's not really bigger. You know, so Pluto's status changed. But really what we, what we did is we discovered the Cooper Belt, which is, you know, where Pluto is. And it's just a whole bunch of objects there. And Pluto still is special. It's clearly big. Um, at least in size, um, but that's an enormous amount that w was hidden from us before. Honestly, people are just excited about pretty pictures. I mean, this there, you know, this kind of, it's going very close. Um, it's close flyby, um, but of course, we want to understand the composition better. We want to understand the detailed structure better, and we will have more information about that. We'd like to know, um, you know, what its density is, um, you know, how much is rock and ice, and if it is what of the rock, what what is that made of? Um, I think. Um, we will get much more detailed, focused information on small structures on it. Um, apparently, the color is different than people thought. Um, you know, we'd like to understand why that is.